one of the uh, writers who comes to prominence in the first half of the 20th century is a gentleman by the name of Nagai Kafu, uh, who himself collected Kiyochika prints. He's famously known in his photographs of him as being exactly like this gentleman, a man in a hat with a cane, strolling through Tokyo looking for the old spots, trying to get a feeling for things. He was quite fascinating as an individual because he studied in uh, the United States and later in France. And he was a translator of the 19th century writer, poet Baudelaire. Baudelaire had his own issues with the modernizing of Paris. And he was like Kafu, uncertain about where all this was going and always looking to the past. So it was almost a role model for Nagai Kafu. And these gentlemen uh, position them, themselves almost as the Parisian stroller, the flaneur, the person who walks through the streets, the modern person, not just sightseeing, but taking it all in. So there are many, many levels of, of meaning going on here, not just visual influence, but literary influence. Yeah, well, Kafu <coughs> is very accessible to people who wish to get at him even in English translation. Right. Uh, and his sense of the disappearing Japan, the old Japan, the true Japan, right. was immensely powerful 